I'm Helga Bloom, and I moved to Pullman. My husband and I moved to Pullman uh, early 70s. Raised three sons here, and uh, Greg is one of them. I think when Bob and I first moved here, uh, one of the things as a young couple and, and uh, raising a family, uh, what was important to us was uh, the schools, uh, the school district, and, uh, and the hospital. Yeah, and I, can, I, I remember as a, a kid growing up, my folks were both involved in the hospital, and um, my dad would have served on the hospital board, and mom volunteered, I know, a lot in different roles, and served on the board as well. I uh, feel very strongly about the endowment, and uh, uh, reason being is that um, you have to have the state-of-the-art equipment. The endowment to me, I think, um, from a financial standpoint, you know, I think <clears> about <throat> the funding that we receive for the hospital and the lack of control we have over that, you know, and, and there's changes in government decisions and healthcare reform that actually impact the resources we have. And in order, you know, you think about um, the quality of care that we've gotten used to over the years um, and you think well gosh if we lose the funding for that you know that quality will decline and doctors potentially could leave and things like that and in order to maintain that predictably in the future you really have to have an endowment in place that can streamline that income that's not um, going to be uh, declining based off of government decisions is the main thing but I, I just think in order to the way our health care is going in this country, in order for our hospital to survive, an endowment has to be in place to continue to get the care that we're used to. That's what exactly I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope people will continue to give to the endowment um, because there's always something new, something different that needs to be done. And to stop doing that stops progress.